the seaside. I'm trying to continue making some videos of different ways you can make art at home. So today we're going to make marbleized paper with some simple household products. So in order to do this project, you're going to need a piece of paper. Um, thicker paper like cardstock works a little bit better, but any paper will do. You're going to need some shaving foam. The, um, the white foamy kind is the best. Please don't use the gel because it won't work as well. You're going to need a toothpick to mix it all up paper towels, and food coloring. All right. I don't know if I said food. Oh, and a paper plate. I don't know if I said food coloring already, but you guys get the idea. So step number one, shake up your, your shaving foam and put a big glob on your paper, on a paper plate, and kind of flatten it out. I'm going to use my finger to flatten it. All right. Step number two is put a few drops of the colors that you want into your shaving cream. You don't need as much of it as you think you do. Next step is to swirl lightly with your toothpick. So I'm going to swirl through my colors in kind of a zigzaggy motion, back and forth. You don't want to over mix because you want some of the white showing as you swirl. All right, so now I'm gonna put my toothpick on my paper plate so I don't make a mess at my house and you don't wanna make a mess at your house. So now what we're going to do is lightly tap, 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 don't squish it, tap, tap, tap the piece of paper on there. And while I'm rubbing it, you can see that the colors are starting to show through. Now, see, notice also that I'm not pressing hard because if I squish it, I'm gonna have a big mess and also my colors might not show up so great. So a lot of the choice board assignments while you're working at home are write a letter to your friend, write a note to your teacher, um, write a note to community workers. This would be a great way to decorate a piece of paper on one side so that you can turn it into a card for whoever you're writing a letter to. Because I noticed that in a lot of the assignments that we had during this remote learning. All right, so I've rubbed it. Now I'm going to carefully peel this off and you can see that I can actually make another copy while I'm at it. So I'm going to grab another piece of paper because you can do more than one piece of paper at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And sometimes I found out my second one turns out a little bit better than my first one. All right, so now I have two copies. Oh, see that one got squished a little too much. And now you're gonna take some paper towels and you are going to swipe off the shaving cream and you are left with a beautiful swirly marble design on your paper. Now this dries really, really quickly. So as soon as your paper feels dry enough to write on, you can turn it over and make it into a card. Okay. So I'm going to swipe off the rest of that. And a clean paper towel. If I had gotten another one, I wouldn't have all those stray marks all over there. Oops, I still see a little bit of shaving cream on there. All right, voila, we're done. Enjoy, guys.